Welcome to today's Sedokan Saturday. The next step for Yellow Belt is learning Yakusoku Kumite, or promise fighting. Yakusoku meaning promise. Kumite meaning the crossing hands, as we've already explained. It involves simple stance, simple block and punch counter, a simple direct clash. So as the attacker comes, we are facing the line of attack. We step off the line back at a 45 degree angle in our Shikodachi. We perform the Uchiyuke, the inside out block, then shift, driving our hip forward, countering with a straight reverse punch. All of the concepts about blocking, receiving, stance, and things have been covered in previous videos. Please refer back to those for more detail on the instruction. There are concepts hidden in this technique, but the basic foundation of it is a force on force. He attacks with force, I place myself in a position of strength to respond directly back with his force. So my partner today, Mr. Dave Nelson, is going to uke. He will step into his attack stance, uke kamai. I am in the tori, or receiving position. As he comes in slowly, I come off the line. So as he punches, I'm actually shifting my body away so that if his punch is now at my shoulder, instead of staying directly in front of him. I'm in my square stance, providing a base of strength. Uchiyuke. Now again, there are a lot of little things we can tap and block, but the Uchiyuke itself should hit with enough force, possibly, that I don't even need to punch him. Especially if you're coming in like with a circular big round punch, like a street punch, and I went whack. I could possibly dissuade him from wanting to do a further attack at this point. Okay? But, he steps in with a punch, hey, I come back, block, Uchiyuke, shift from my stance, into a front stance, driving my hip forward, performing the Yakuzuki straight at his solar plexus. So the whole thing together, hey, block, punch. Okay, one more time. Hey, hey, and yame. Now, in in Yakusoku Kumite. Even though it's set, one of the critiques that a lot of people uh, make about karate is, oh, he's just standing there with his punch. Yes, at a learning level and at the yellow belt, that's all we expect. The idea behind it is that if he were coming in with a barrage of attacks, my block and counter would be quick enough, my block strong enough to dissuade a second attack, and my punch quick enough to interrupt any follow-up attack. So if you were just coming in with light swinging, hey! I would stop him, ideally, with a strong block and a fast enough punch that any further attacks would pretty much be preempted. We don't expect that yet, yet at the yellow belt level, but just understand that the stop motion with which we teach is not the final product. Secondly, in all of the um, Seikokan Yakusoku, they're considered irimi, or entry techniques. So that's just the beginning of what then would be a follow-up of other techniques where we would disarm a weapon or dis disable or grab his striking weapon, in this case his fist, referred to as his weapon, follow up with throws, counters, controls, and so forth. So the basic block punch counter is Seidokan technique number one, or Seidokan Ichiban of our basic 11 Yakusoku. Next week, we'll look at one of the things that I kind of tweak and add from past experience and previous systems, um, another Yakusoku, which comes from the Kempo system. So not necessarily for all you Seokan people, but a corollary to the Yakusoku concept, and it does coincide beautifully with our Seokan number one. So we'll do that one next week. Until next week, thanks again for joining Seokan Saturday, and as always, keep practicing.